get used to that sky blue that's real beautiful the renaissance arts you see them details united states champion this this is really screaming murka okay so this is my other ryan stokes belt that he did for me the leather work that he did for me that is and he did this with um cm punk style so you know well the cm punk model when he held the belt uh this is how the belt is right here that's how it is at the moment that this video is being filmed and you just shake it so yeah and uh oh <laughs> let's get into details about this yeah i'm not gonna throw it up there crazy Boom. Okay, first of all, I would like to say I think this is like the flashiest belt that you have. And then it does a little sp it has a little spinny thing and I think that's kind of cool. Um the tone of this gold is a bit more I guess yellow. It's different um but I don't have a problem with it. I like the different colors of the gems here. We don't just have like the crystal clear ones. We have yellow and we have red and I like the design they have within the gold behind like the spinning w um and again on either side there seems to be details that probably have significance to you guys and the wrestlers but this don't mean nothing to me <laughs> and also i see this working on the leather it's it's looking like seashells it's a little bit finer detailing than the w's earlier on and there's less of them but i think Oh, shell tooling? It's shell tooling. It's called shell tooling. Shell tooling. Okay, you learned something new. That's that's something. It's it's subtle. This is flashy in its own ways and subtle in other ways. I'm not mad at it. Okay, now let's get into uh, Mr. Paul Martin. Paul Martin's leather work. And, you know, this is how his leather uh, came right out the gate. And mind you, most of my belts have just been hanging. I haven't been playing around with these at all. Like, if I wanted to be... Like from what I heard is if I want it to be just like how it is on TV for uh, like real leather stuff, um, just use it the way how those guys use it. And I'm not about to do that. I'm not about to throw this around like Seth Rollins, you know, all that. Yeah, you know, no, that ain't happening. But yeah, man, let's, uh, well, here it is first. Right there. Let's test it. And let's get into details about this leather work. Oh, almost forgot.
This is a, a next championship belt. And I can Wait, say- Wait, hold on, a what? Is it, is it, is it, uh, what is it? Say what you just is said. Is it next? It's NXT. You don't pronounce it as next? No. Okay. <laughs> 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 we'll say i'm pretty sure i've seen commercials for this on tv never never thought to watch it though very bold very in your face um i like the shell casing see i remember the word shell toy oh sorry this shell casing that's for bullets yeah. <laughs> i like the shell tooling um it's not a lot of it but it, it does a good job of kind of highlighting the center art and on the side, we have these appliques. They're identical. Oh, snap. Okay, they got like stippling within the X, within the leather. I think it's nice. It gives it dimension. Hmm. It's all right. This is supposed to be made from the craft the leather craftsman mm -hmm. is supposed to be the best person in the world for it like he's one of the top ones basically he's one of the best um what do you think about this leather compared to the ones that you just saw you are for real asking the wrong person about leather because i don't know much well, about leather like you know how it's a different shade of black it, that didn't even know that, that i did not notice okay. that see this is why you're the expert okay <laughs> Okay, and um, now let's talk about this Austin Watts. Uh, now let's talk about this man in the fog, aka Austin Watkins, um, his leather work. And this is by far the oldest belt that I have in my collection as of now. And this is, again, my favorite belt. And yeah. So this is how the leather is. This is my favorite leather design belt, that is. So right there. It's a shop belt. Yeah, man. This belt's amazing. And, uh, yeah. It's going to take a while for me to get rid of this belt, but... Something might be happening. Some, something might be happening very soon. Well, not very soon. Actually, I don't know. Depends on the CS schedule. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, let's get into details. Okay, so this is a World Wrestling Entertainment Championship belt. I don't know who Eddie Guerrero is, but congrats to him on this. Um, I don't really like like the way it's shaped. It looks really uncomfortable. I will say I do like the detailing in the letter of the, the W's. That's kind of nice. And also um, what seems like coats. You know this is my favorite belt, right? I'm sorry, it's not it. Wow. It's, it just seems really clunky, and I don't like the jewels. They're too big, they're not delicate. Damn. Sorry. <laughs> R.I.P. Eddie Guerrero, he was a real one. You know his thing was uh, Latino heat. That's cool. Yeah. 
Okay, and that was the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And big shout out to my girlfriend for actually participating in this video and dealing with my madness. And, uh, you know, you guys, hope you guys like the little WrestleMania 18 baseball jersey and the undisputed vibes that I'm giving to you guys. And, yeah, man, thank you guys for watching again. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Have a great day. Undisputed vibes.